We are now to the booth of Anwar Defense, who presents a wide range of different types of military equipment and also new innovation and technology. My name is Daewon Kim uh, from Hanwha Aerospace Land System Business Team. Uh, for the basic features of these vehicles, for the combat weight, when armored, it weighs as much as 9 ton, and its top speed is 70 kilometers per hour, and when goes autonomous drive, its maximum speed is 40 kilometers per hour. This is a hybrid model, hybrid, diesel and electricity uh, put together, so, and for the operation range is 490 kilometers. For the payload, uh, you see the three vehicles behind the, the, the right front one. Those are on their conceptual license stage, stage. So can't be sure the exact payload for the EG vehicles. For however, we can be very flexible in meeting those requirements of our client. And payload can be you know, from low to the high. It can be uh, falling between the two, anywhere between the two that the client needs. However, for the, for the basic model you see at the front here, it's a for it's a light vehicle, it has 12.7 millimeter uh, machine gun. So prototype will be, co will be complete. Uh, we, we expect to see it in 2026, and the mass production will, is planned to begin in 2027. There's one main difference between this one and the four uh, vehicles you've just seen. That's the military unit will be using this vehicle. This is for infantry unit, infantry. The, the previous vehicles were for armored vehicle unit. So for this vehicle, it was solely developed by Hanwha, and is, it is on plan for the trial use by U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Marine Corps at the end of this year, December this year. Uh, that's FCT program, and after that, we will see it, uh, if it will be deployed for the future operations or not. For the main uh, technical difference for this vehicle, it's a fully electric. It's a full electric vehicle. At the speed of 40 km per hour, it can, uh, the, it can go up to 100 range, 1 km range for operations. And at the bottom of this uh, platform, the lithium, lithium battery is installed. It's based on autonomous drive, autonomous drive with the function of deep learning. So it learns from the experience of drive itself on itself and so improves the future drivings. Uh, medical evacuation is also available for, uh, from this uh, vehicle. So main mission is a combat support. Combat support. The second is materials, uh, transportation, and the third one, yes, medevac med is also uh, possible.